Scorpio. What's up, Scorpio? It's your girl D here with Eighth House Energy, shouting you out, giving you a happy birthday shout out, especially to my um November Scorpios. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed your season. We're wrapping that up and we're getting ready to go into Sag season. So I do want to shout out happy birthday to all the um, Scorpio Sag cuspers. Um, if you pull up your chart and you see that you are 28 degrees Scorpio, 29 degrees Scorpio, 0 degrees Sag, 1 degree Sag, or 2 degrees Sag, then you are a Scorpio Sag cusper. So you guys are going to be um, having your birthday sometime this weekend. Um, I'm recording this on the 19th. Yeah. So Sag Scorpio Cuspers will be celebrating their birthdays um, this weekend. And, um, you know, we got Sag season coming up on, what is it, Sunday? But at any rate, I think it's Sunday. Let me see calendar do your thing there you go yeah sunday so you got a few more days i'm recording this on thursday the 19th so um i hope you guys were able to get um you know some things out of scorpio season but what we're gonna look at is um for those of you who um are dealing with someone this could be your past person your present person um or it could be someone coming towards you um but we're gonna take a look and see the energy between you and this person and then I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use two different decks, one for you, one for your person to see um, the energy between you two and the actions that uh, were taking place between you two. And then we'll do an extended to go into detail and look a little further into that. So let's see what we got as far as the energies between you and this person. What else do we have for Scorpio? What are the energies between Scorpio and their person? What messages do we have as far as the energies between Scorpio and their person? Now, um, this could be family members. It could be a lover. It could be a friend. It could be a colleague. It could be anybody, but um, this is geared towards love. So I would say specifically family and, and um, friends, you know, um, or lover. One more for Scorpio, please. Okay, so as far as the overall energy, Scorpio, I'll show you all the cards too. So we have the, um, this is the Seven of Swords, okay? Seven of Swords energy, so this is Gemini. This Seven of Swords energy is an energy of, um, I feel an energy of hush-hush. I feel an energy of someone not speaking up, someone not saying what's going on. But I feel like somebody could be doing something, making some type of moves or some sort of moves, planning something, okay? Whether it's something positive or negative, um, you know, this could be somebody watching someone um, for the purpose of trying to figure out what they're doing or what they're up to. Um, I feel as if with this energy, there's somebody not revealing something. It, it could also be that somebody's up to something as well, Scorpio. Um, but with the Seven of Swords, there's something that's not being revealed. There could be some dishonesty going on. Um, somebody could be up to, to no good. Or this could just be somebody holding back their feelings. So let's just see what cards we got here. So we got the Two of Cups in reverse. Can't see any energy. Oh, this, this smoke is going bonkers. Let me move it over. <laughs> there. Okay, two of cups reverse, then we have the um, eight of cups reverse, okay, uh, I'm sorry, let me show you the card upright, so eight of cups came out reverse, two of cups came out reverse, the page of swords came out reverse, then we have the Eight of Swords. Wait a minute. This is, yeah, this was the Seven of Swords. So the Eight of Swords came out in reverse. Okay. Then we have the, um, the Ace of Pentacles that came out in reverse. And then the only upright card here is Justice Energy. Major Arcana Libra Energy. Justice card. All right. Yeah, this is getting on my nerve. Hold on. Dash that out a bit. Okay. So, 
I feel like, you know, there's definitely uh, trouble in paradise. I feel like people are, are splitting up, divorcing. Okay, um, whatever the situation is, whether it was a situationship, whether it was, uh, you know, situationship, friends with benefits, you know, um, a relationship, marriage. I feel like things are on the rocks. I feel like there's some disputes there. There's some um, energy of arguing. Um, this is the uh, Eight of Swords reverse here. I feel um, there's some things that have been revealed. Okay, because the Two of Cups could talk about arguing. But it could also talk about no interest. So I feel like with this Two of Cups reverse and this Eight of Swords reverse here, um, somebody is realizing that they're not interested in the connection or someone is realizing that the connection is just too much trouble. Okay, it, it, it's not satisfying. It's not gratifying. Um, it's something that, you know, you guys, for whatever reason, you can't get on the same page. Um, we have the eight, the seven of cups. What is this? The seven of cups in reverse. I said it was the eight of cups. Forgive me. It's the seven of cups reverse. Okay, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of cups in reverse. And then we have the ace of um, pentacles in reverse. The Seven of Cups in Reverse is, um, I feel like someone is no longer disillusioned about the fact that there's this connection is over. About the fact that, you know, if it's a, a friendship that this person is no longer your friend. If this is family, is that, you know, there's an issue between you and family. Family members could be arguing. Um, there could have been some deception here. I feel like with the Seven of Cups Reverse and the Seven of Swords here, there was some deception going on. Someone may have been disillusioned, you know, and it could have been that they were trusting of this person because the Ace of Pentacles could represent the fact that this person trusted this person because of the type of connection that you had. Um, whether this was family, whether you were married, whether you, whatever the type of connection it was, there was some trust here, all right? And and someone was, someone, um, was let down, okay? Somebody, um, you know, I feel like somebody's... Um, trust and someone's um how can i say it i just feel like someone was was deceived let's put it that way okay now we also have the um page of swords reversed and justice energy so i feel like this person said you know what i'm not going to speak to this person anymore I'm, I'm done i'm not communicating with them anymore and so as a result we have the justice energy here so what i feel like is there was definitely some sneaky behavior going on some deceptive behavior going on and so a fight came about um where this person came out of their own what it was is it, it hmm it could have been a fight or argument but what i'm feeling is is that you figured out something okay without this person telling you because we got the eight of swords here all right and this is you coming out of a self-imposed uh, situation here where you were not listening to your intuition you were getting some red flags you might have been bypassing them um and you might have been in your head about things maybe you wanted things to work out or maybe you were just under the illusion based on what this person was telling you and based on what you were ignoring about their behavior and actions um but i feel like you realize what it is now and so you came to that conclusion and you realized that this person was um up to no good here um, we have the M, the Queen of Pentacles underneath the uh, Seven of Swords. And then we have the um, Tower energy. Hmm. So with this Queen of... Okay, so there, someone could have been... De someone... Ooh. Okay, so this could be a mother figure. Okay, someone um, realizes that their mother has been being deceptive. This is also somebody's um, husband or wife who was being deceptive. This tower moment is Mars energy. I feel like this is, I feel like this eight of swords and this tower energy go hand in hand. This is you, you know, coming to the conclusion that, you know, this is, this person is up to no good. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. So let's see what's going on with you and this person. But um, I feel like somebody may have had a wife. This is somebody who could have a wife. So someone could have been dealing with someone who was married. Um, this is somebody who could have a child by this person. This is somebody who maybe thought they were going to um, be in a serious relationship with someone, especially with the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, but they realize that that's not the case. Um, strong dishonesty here um, with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You know, someone was just... And then the Seven of Cups in reverse, too. And the Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone was just straight up being dishonest. 
Um, let's see, what decks are we going to use for you guys? So, uh, we'll try this one. Alright. So, let's see what we got here. So, I'm going to do four cards at the top, four cards at the bottom. The two at the top are the overall energy of what's, um, what you guys are feeling, and then the actions that were taken. Okay, so there's that, there's that. And then we're going to do uh, a deck for your person. And we'll dive in. There will be an extended to this video. The link's in the box below. One more for Scorpio, please. Thank you. All right, so let's get a deck for your person. I'm going to use this one. All right. And then we'll go over the cards. So let's see. What do we got for a Scorpio person? What, what's the overall energy for this person? What is this person's energy towards Scorpio? Okay. And the actions this person took. One more, please. Okay. So... Let's talk about... This person. We have the Page of Cups as the overall energy in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. So there is this energy here of no love, okay? Um, there's no communication between you and this person. Um, this could be a situation about a child, but let's see. So we have the Page of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. The Ten of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. This is this person's um, overall energy towards you. And then the actions they took... Ace of Swords reverse. Six of Wands reverse. Wow. Okay. Now, your energy towards this person is the Three of Swords. Okay. That's um, a Libra energy. Then we have the um, Eight of Cups reverse. Okay. Which is uh, Pisces. <laughs> and then we have the... Um, Temperance in reverse, Major Arcana here, Sag Energy, and we have the um, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like what's going on here is um, there's some heartbreak here. You you uh, walked away from the situation. You learned your lesson with this person. This person hurt you. Uh, we got the Three of Swords energy here. Now the overall energy for your reading is the uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So for a lot of you, this could be um, a mother figure or this could be, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman, but, um, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, she represents um, feminine energy. She represents um, the uh, mother, okay, in a relationship. She represents stability, okay. She represents um, long-term commitment. So this situation in reference to you being hurt or deceived by this energy could have been going on for a long period of time, all right? Um, and I feel that the actions that you've taken towards this situation here is with the, um, her, the hang, I'm sorry, the um, temperance in reverse and the uh, page, is this the page or the knight? Jesus. I'll tell you one second. I haven't used this deck in a minute. Is it the page of the night? Ooh, child. I guess I should have got that information together before I started. But, you know, things happen. We're going we gonna to improvise. Don't even worry. We're going to keep it moving. But I just want to make sure I'm giving you the accurate information when I'm reading these cards. Two. So that's the ace. Ace. Come on, give me, give me something I've been through at the deck. Page. Of, okay, so that's a page. Okay, so this is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so you brought balance to the situation. 
um, and you stop communicating with this person. You stop putting in time, energy, and effort because that's what you were putting in. You were putting in your time, your energy, your effort, your attention. This is somebody you cared about. This was a situation you cared about. You um, were invested in this, okay? So you stop putting your time, energy, and effort and in investing in the situation all together. Um, there was some heartbreak here. It was very painful for you. I feel like with the Eight of Cups reverse here, um, you may have come back and forth a few times with this situation, which um, makes me feel like this is a long-term... This is why there was uh, the Queen of Pentacles when I say there's long-term stability, as in this was going on for a while, okay? Because you would constantly put in time, effort, and energy into this situation. Um, but I feel like you were stalled out, okay? Because if this is upright... A lot of times what this means in a relationship is that someone is not going to give you anything more than what you're getting. Okay, so for some of you, you wanted a stable commitment with this person, but you were not able to get that. You, um, you know, fought back and forth with this person, whether you were directly explaining to them what you wanted or whether you weren't. But this person um, wasn't going to give you what it was that you wanted. And so what you did was... Um, you felt that the only way that you could bring balance to the situation was to leave it be. So I feel like that's what you did. You decided to let it go, leave it alone, but it took you a while to do so with this Eight of Cups energy in reverse here. The Eight of Cups in reverse talks to me about, like, the Eight of Cups is just not leaving and walking away. Each cup represents the fact that, you know, there was emotion spilled, you walked away, then you came back. You tried to work it out. That's what that, um, you know, and then it just became stagnant with the uh, page of pentacles. And then you walked away again. Okay. But for a lot of you, it's because somebody, there was someone else in the picture, I feel like, with the three of swords. Um, if there wasn't someone else in the situation, then the third sword in this scenario is that um, somebody was just not being honest with what they wanted and what their intentions were. Okay. Um, so I feel like what happened was... Um, yeah, so we got the Two of Cups. See, you wanted a connection with this person really badly. You wanted to be um, in a stable, committed relationship. For some of you, you were the third party because the Queen of, the queen of Pentacles in reverse could be um, a third party person as well. Like all the queens could be in reverse. But in this situation, I feel like you were because of the Three of Swords here. So for some of you, you may have been dealing with someone who was married. Um, for others of you, you were just in this situationship, which is why this Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. You were just in this situationship for a very long time. Um, and you wanted to move in with this person. Um, I felt like you felt happy with this person here. You felt at peace with this person, which is why you stayed so long. Um, but then you realize with the uh, moon energy that this person was... Um, that, you know, you, I feel like you realize you had to leave with the, with the Ten of Swords reverse because you realize that this person was not being honest. I feel like there's a lack of honesty here. Yeah, because there was justice in reverse here. Okay. And the high priestess in reverse. So again, like I said, from the very first spread, you weren't using your intuition because the high priestess is in reverse here as well as justice in reverse. So you, um, yeah, so that eight of swords in reverse was you not listening to your intuition about the situation. Now, this person here with the Knight of, of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Wands, their overall energy is, um, this is something that they didn't, they looked at this situation as burdensome. They just wanted to have fun. They didn't want anything serious. They didn't want a connection um, where they would have to put in any work or anything like that because that's not what they were interested in at all. This person wanted to come and go as they please. That's it. They wanted nothing nothing serious. With the Ten of Wands in reverse, they were not interested in putting in work because they did not want the burden. They don't want the responsibility is what I'm feeling here. And as far as um, the actions they took to show you that, we have the Ace of Swords reverse and the Six of Wands reverse. So this person, you know, deliberately miscommunicated with you, didn't tell you what was going on, wasn't being honest with the fact that they did not want um, a serious connection with you with the six of wands in reverse. They purposely kept you out of the loop of that because they only wanted what they wanted. Okay. Um, so I feel like with this um, page of pentacles and I'm sorry, page of cups in reverse, this is an energy of someone who just wants to hit it and quit it. Okay. Um, we have the tower energy here and then we have the two of wands. So I feel like, you know, yeah, this person basically. Hmm. Something happened to them. And so now they're trying to decide what they want to do. 
I'm not sure what this tower moment was that came up, but there was a tower moment that came up for them. Okay, because they had no intentions of falling in love with you or being in a serious relationship with you. Uh, for a lot of you, they were emotionally manipulating you with this page of cups in reverse. Um, I feel like they feel they didn't get what they wanted. For some of you, they wanted, I feel like they may have wanted to stress you or put a burden on you. And it could have been with via a child. Okay, but I feel like for some of you, they did not get to do what they wanted to do. So they were pissed about it. This is what this Mars energy this is what this is with this Mars energy here as far as the tower. So they were trying to figure out at this point what it is that they could do because they want something for nothing. That's what they wanted with the Seven of Pentacles. They were not going to put any time, effort, or energy in. And so with the death energy here, um, you know, the situation, the way that it came out, it ended. You know what I mean? Because... They weren't trying to put any effort in. They wanted to get in real quick, get you, you know, pregnant or get pregnant by you for some of you. And then that was that. OK, or they wanted to play mind games with you, get what they wanted, which was just sex. And that was it. And so, um, you know, they were juggling you and other people. They were not happy with the situation at all that they were in. They had other people. They were being malicious and sneaking around with the seven of swords and with the moon in reverse and the ace of pentacles here. This person... I feel like they were jealous of you. They're jealous of your financial situation. For some of you, you're doing well. Um, but I feel like they're jealous. They're jealous of your financial situation. They see you doing really well. And um, with the um, chariot energy in reverse, I feel like you stopped them in their tracks. Yep, with the knight of cups in reverse. See, this person was playing mind games and manipulation. They were definitely not interested in being anything serious. And I feel like you cut this, in, you cut this person off. Wow. So what we're going to do, Scorpio, is we're going to go into the extended and clarify these cards. I'm going to clarify each one to get a little bit more detail on it to see what's going on with um, you and this person now. Uh, whether you guys, I feel like for a lot of you, this is past energy that you're just, you know, thinking about and processing and getting, you know, um, out of your system. For some of you, you could be going through this right now. Okay. You've walked away, come back, walked away. And, um, you know, you're trying to figure out what to do or you're, you're trying to figure out how to process these feelings. But this is going to give you a little insight into what this person is thinking so that it will help you um, in your healing process. But yeah, this person had no intent of being around. I feel like this person, I swear I feel like this person wanted to put a burden on you with this Ten of Wands in reverse. Because I feel like for a lot of you, they were after you for whatever money they could get from you. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They wanted what they could get without putting in any work, effort, or energy at all. And they were figure, trying to figure out how to do it. With the two of, of wands energy here, I feel like they were trying to figure out how to do it. But because you um, cut it off, this is what this uh, tower energy is. So we had the um, page of cups in reverse and then the tower energy. And that tower is you shutting them down saying, you know what, I'm not doing this anymore. Because for a lot of you, you were with this person for a long time. Okay, so they were emotionally manipulating you. It may not have had to have to anything to do with the baby. But this person could have had a baby by someone else. See, this is what this tower card could also be. Is that they were dealing with a third party and they had a child or got someone else pregnant. And so with this two of wands here, they're trying to decide what they want to do. Because with the seven of pentacles, they don't want to put in any work in anything. Okay, so the situation between you and this person changed with the death card. And now with the two of pentacles here, they're trying to decide what they want to do. They're juggling between you and a couple other people with the four of cups. But I feel like they're very unhappy. Okay, um, and with the seven of swords and the um, moon in reverse, I feel like they're very jealous of you. Jealous of you. And with the ace of pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like this person, wow, this person is just, you're dealing with someone who's emotionally unstable. Um, this is somebody who had issues from when they were a child, okay? This is somebody who um, is an emotional manipulative individual, extremely emotionally manipulative. Yeah, so let's go to the extended and get a little more information about this, get some clarity, and hopefully, uh, and then get some advice, and hopefully this will help you to... Um, you know, move forward in your healing process because this is definitely somebody you don't want to go back to. 
All right. So the link's in the box um, below the video. So feel free to join. If you need a personal reading, I'm at 8houseenergy at gmail.com. Don't forget, until Sunday the 22nd. Well, uh, you have until Saturday the 21st to get readings numbers 2, 3, and 4 at a 50% off discount. If you are a Scorpio in North Node, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? And then we'll be doing the same thing for Sag. So if you're a Sag Scorpio cusper and you want to take advantage, feel free to do so. All right, my information's in the box below. I'll see you in the extended. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out, Scorpio.